The Pearson kids finally meet their uncle, and he's got one hell of a story to tell. Nikki explains what went down in Vietnam on the January 22nd episode of This Is Us, and it will break your heart. After the war and after he started a family, Jack begins getting postcards from his brother, who is signing them off as Clark Kent. He always leaves his return address, 2125 Songbird Road. Jack never returns Nikki's postcards, even though Nikki's notes get more and more urgent. It isn't until one says last one that Jack even pauses. Jack goes to Nikki's trailer in the middle of nowhere. How'd you get my home address? Jack asks right off the bat. You can't write me at home. It's extremely tense between them. Jack tells his brother to take care, but he just can't leave. He didn't come this far for nothing. Nikki gives Jack photos from Vietnam, and they begin to warm up to each other. In the present day, the Pearsons gather round to talk about Nikki. As much as Kate tries to find a way around it, Kevin stresses that Jack knew Nikki was alive the entire time. This is the first Rebecca is ever hearing of Nikki being alive. Jack kept this from her over the course of their entire marriage. Kevin is going to Bradford, where Nikki lives, and Randall is as well. Rebecca doesn't want to go. Kate is hesitant as well, but she can't resist. So, the Pearsons go on a road trip. They just can't get over why Jack told them that his brother was dead. Kate is really caught off guard that her father lied to her. Meanwhile, Rebecca is not handling the news well. Later, Rebecca tells Miguel about Nikki. She's frustrated that she didn't ask Jack more questions all those years ago. Now she's looking for the truth. Kevin, Randall, and Kate pull up to Nikki's place. Kevin knocks on the door. But Nikki walks up behind the Pearson trio. Does Jack know you're here? The older Nikki asks. All of the Pearsons are shocked at his question. Kate tells Nikki that Jack is dead. Nikki asks when Jack died. His brother's been dead for 20 years, and he didn't even know it. The Pearson kids don't waste any time asking Nikki the tough questions. At first, he wants them to leave, but Kate refuses. Nikki eventually sits down and talks to them. Your father tried to clean me up. It didn't work, he tells them. When asked why his dad told them that he had died, Nikki says, he should have never have come from me. Back in Vietnam, the mystery woman's little boy comes over to Nikki and tries on his glasses. Nikki takes him fishing, using hand grenades to kill the fish in the water. They're having a lot of fun, until the little boy tries to grab the grenade. Nikki drops it. Nikki yells at the boy to jump off the boat with him, but he doesn't. That's when the explosion happens. Jack swims out to Nikki. When Jack looks at the destroyed boat and sees the boy's flip-flop, he thinks he knows what happened. Jack thinks Nikki killed the boy. I'm done, Jack screams at Nikki, who is catatonic. Nikki is sent to a psychiatric facility after the incident. When Jack visits Nikki years later, he refuses to talk about Vietnam. Nikki tries to tell Jack what really happened that day, but Jack doesn't want to go back. I've moved on, Jack says. And he means it. Did I ruin your life? Nikki asks before Jack walks out the door. Jack replies, No, Nikki. I have a good life. Jack shows him a picture of his family. Nikki thinks there's no place in Jack's life for him anymore. He thinks he'll mess up Jack's perfect life and family with his problems. So he lets Jack go. He promises Jack he won't write anymore. Jack walks away, and they never see each other again. The older Nicky admits that his memories of Vietnam are fading, but that boy's mother is burned into his memory forever. He tells the kids that Jack saw everything in black and white. That's why he had two lives. He walked away from the first life, and once Jack picked a direction, he never changed the course. He put the war behind him. He never looked back. But Jack almost turns back towards Nikki all those years ago, but he ultimately stays on his path. When Jack gets home, he nearly confesses everything to Rebecca, but he holds back. Why, Jack, why? Nikki also asks the Pearson kids how Jack died. When he's told Jack died of a heart attack, Nikki is shaken and asks the kids to leave. Is it because he knows about Jack's heart condition? Kevin, Randall and Kate leave Nikki's place. 
They're just about to go home to Pittsburgh, but Kevin can't leave Nikki behind. I can't leave him like Dad did, Kevin says. They all go back and find Nikki with a gun. I never got to tell him, Nikki cries. It was an accident. Kevin puts his hand on Uncle's shoulder. Nikki Pearson isn't going to be left alone this time.